five major projects in Victoria appear a step closer today after getting the green light from the Commonwealth's infrastructure advisory body. Among them is the controversial east-west road tunnel, which has been recommended for planning funding. And as Alison Savage reports, that project has become a key battleground in the upcoming Melbourne by-election. The Bailey government says a second city crossing is the key to fixing Melbourne's traffic woes. It is absolutely crucial that you have a city of more than four million people that it needs a ring road. It's already started drilling to see what lies beneath the proposed route linking the Eastern Freeway to the Western Ring Road. And the $30 million the state wants from the Commonwealth for planning now appears a step closer. The federal government's advisory body, Infrastructure Australia, has deemed three Victorian projects ready to proceed and says another two, including the East-West Link, are ready for development funding. This project is ready for the next stage and that is for the development. Tony Abbott has pledged $1.5 billion for the project if he wins government, but experts say the proposal, likely to include a toll road, won't tackle the traffic snarls through the city. It certainly will redistribute the congestion. It's unlikely to reduce it that much. As the Greens and Labor prepare to do battle in a close-fought by-election, it's one issue they can agree on. The Greens are calling on Julia Gillard to provide not one cent for this tunnel, but put the money into a public transport alternative. A cross-city tunnel, particularly one that's got uh, on and off ramps into the inner city, will only at best move traffic from Hoddle Street to Nicholson and Ligon Streets. But the government takes a more cynical view of Labor's opposition to the project. Let's see what they say after the Melbourne by-election. It was back to the future for Labor's campaign for Melbourne today as a familiar face entered the fray. The Green Party does not stand for an alternative government. It doesn't stand for economic responsibility and managing budgets well. Voters in Melbourne will have their say next Saturday. Alison Savage, ABC News, Melbourne.